In today's video, we are going to be making copycat Cheesecake Factory Da Vinci pasta. Let's see what it is. water is boiling. I need turn my stove on. I need a tablespoon of butter and I need while that is melting I need some red onion Not all of it, just part of it. And I'm gonna leave this onion pretty good size because my son doesn't like onions. So this way he can pick them out if he wants to. That should be plenty right there. We don't wanna overpower it. Here's what I have. I have oh, maybe an eighth of a red onion. I have a teaspoon of chopped garlic and I have about three pretty good sized mushrooms. And I'm going to be sauteing those until they're tender. While those are sauteing, I'm going to cut up my chicken. I just got some chicken tenderloins. As everyone knows, the tenderloin has the, the vein. Just hope this is somewhat close to what I get down there. We have a cheesecake factory that's about an hour, oh, 45 minutes to an hour away. And everyone knows we only eat there for the lunch and it still costs over $20. There's my chicken, let me wash my hands. Go ahead and Get these done. just want them to be tender. Now, I'll put this into a bowl. Now, 
Now I need to cook my chicken. But you don't want to overcook your chicken because you're going to be adding your chicken back into the stuff. Put a little bit of olive oil in this. I'm going to go ahead and cook this. Let's add our pasta. And let's let that cook according to direction. We'll add a little bit of salt. A little bit of Italian seasoning. Pepper. And a little bit of garlic powder. Just to season up the chicken. Now that my chicken is done, I'm going to put it in a bowl. And I am going to need to add two tablespoons of butter. Let that melt. Now that my butter is melted, I'm going to add a, a tablespoon of flour. I'm going to make a roux. Making sure you scrape the bottom to get the bits and pieces that you just cooked. this cook for a little bit to get the flour taste out. Now, Marsala wine. I guess I'd use Madeira, but I couldn't find any, so I need a cup of this. But it says since you can't find that, you can also use Marsala. So I need a cup of wine, and I'm going to add that. Lower in my heat. And cook this for about 10 minutes. Now that that's cooked, I am going to slowly add in two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream.
I need to bring this to a low boil. So let's bring this to a low boil. And once we make sure you keep stirring it because you don't want it to to stick or burn. Check my pasta. Let it drain back into the pan. Continue doing this. Okay, now it's come to a boil. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of basil. Now, I'm going to add back my vegetables. my chicken and cook this for about three to four minutes And once again, the shirt's dirty. Let's go ahead and taste of this sauce and see what it tastes. Good. A bit more salt, but it is pretty good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my pasta into it. And it made a huge pan.
clean it off because we don't want it to burn. There we have it. Now, let's see what it tastes like. get some parmesan cheese only have this kind so let's add some of that it always wants to stick okay now give it a taste Mmm. It's pretty good. I like it. So give this a try. See what you think. Hopefully you'll like it. It's, you know, a fraction of what it costs to go to the Cheesecake Factory. Not exactly like it, but it's still pretty good. So. Mmm. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and share this video. I hope you enjoyed What's for Dinner Wednesday. Come back. Bye.